The dispatch of an oil rig from factory to site involves numerous transport shipment tasks. These occur concurrently and although sufficient tasks are started to cover initial estimates of the required transport volumes, it is always possible for additional tasks to be initiated if there is a shortfall in transportation requirements. Once the whole oil rig has been transported and all transport shipment tasks are completed, the next task, Assemble Rig, can commence. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on BPMN and workflow patterns. Today we look at the multiple instance without a priori runtime knowledge pattern. Within a given process instance, multiple instances of a task can be created. The required number of instances may depend on a number of runtime factors including state data, resource availability and inter-process communications and is not known until the final instance has completed. Once initiated, these instances are independent of each other and run concurrently. At any time whilst instances are running, it is possible for additional instances to be initiated. It is necessary to synchronize the instances at completion before any subsequent task can be triggered. You can see the behavior in the original flash animation. So here we have the multiple instances without a priori runtime knowledge and we can start the process here and then it comes to the multi-instance task and we can again say how many instances we want to have created in the first place. So we say okay we start with two and now we have these two instances and we can work on them but while we are working on them we can add additional ones. And so this can go on and on and we don't know how many of them we have until the last one is finished and we continue and finish our process instance. In BPMN we can model this with a multi-instance task and an additional task combined with an event-based gateway. As you can see here in this BPMN specification. So. It starts with plan oil rig dispatch and then there is an AND split and this is the multi-instance task transport shipment. So if we start the token simulation here, um, we see that there is now a token here at this transport shipment and we can imagine that these are going on, all these instances. And here we have an event-based gateway and if ever we need additional transport shipment instances we can create them in this way with this event-based gateway until no more additional instances are needed and then we go here and if we finally finish all of the instances of the multi-instance task here, we can assemble the rig. Note that when we plan the oil rig dispatch, we create a list of initial goods to be transported and this list is the input for our multi-instance task here. In the task below, we have to define the goods to be transported from scratch, so there are no data fields that are pre-filled. Thank you for watching.